Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. In this video, the next problem, fourth and fifth problem, I am going to explain regarding the financial statement analysis. Last two three videos, I have already completed four short questions and three main problems on comparative common size we have done. Now in this video, the fourth problem and fifth problem. So watch the video till the end, don't skip in between if you want the complete command on this topic of financial statement analysis. So if you have not watched the theory video, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject financial decision making. Select the video of financial statement analysis theory. Be acquainted, be thorough on what are the techniques available for financial statement analysis. Then you come to the problem. Now, before starting the fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of fourth and fifth problem. Then I'll explain. Come on, see the fourth one, problem number four. Prepare a common size statement and interpret the result. Common size statement balance sheet is given. The balance sheet as on 31st March 2016 and 2017. The so last year 2016, current year 2017. The particulars, equity and liabilities, shareholders fund, share capital, reserves and surplus. Non-current liabilities are 12% debentures. Current liabilities are only trade payable. The total of the balance sheet last year 3 lakh, current year 3 lakh 7 thousand. Now asset side we have non-current assets, fixed assets and current assets are only one that is cash and cash equivalent. Then the total of assets are 3 lakh last year and 3 lakh 7 thousand current year. So complete balance sheet amounts are given. Now we have to calculate the percentages for common size. So write this, uh, see the year, heading here. Common size balance sheet as on 31st March 16 and 17. So two broad columns 16 and 17. In that sub columns amount percentage, amount percentage. Already we have done this in the previous video also. Equity and liabilities, shareholders fund, share capital. The complete format whatever is given in the problem same format I have copied. And the same amounts I have taken for 2016 and 2017. The only thing is percentages are not given in the problem. We have calculated the percentages. That is only the new point. right? All the amounts I have simply copied down from the problem. Now how to calculate the percentages. In balance sheet, the base is the total assets and total liabilities. The total assets and total liabilities will be same. So that will be the base. Example, the total of the liabilities are 3 lakh. And the total of assets are also 3 lakh. Balance sheet tallied. Now this 3 lakh should be taken as 100%. Now here I have taken 100%. Right? Now express all these values as a percentage of total. So denominator you take 3 lakh. Numerator you take 1 lakh. So 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100, 33.33%. 67, 250 divided by 3 lakh into 100, 22.42. Then 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh, 33.33. 32, 750 divided by 3 lakh into 100, 10.92. So we got all the percentages. Same method you apply for assets also. Numerator you take this amount and denominator you take 3 lakh into 100. So 82, 800 divided by 3 lakh into 100, 27.6, not 100%. These are the calculations, percentages for last year 2016. Similarly, we have to make for 2017 also. The total of the assets and liabilities are 3 lakh 7,000. So 3 lakh 7,000 is the base for which we take 100%. Right? Now express all these values. So 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh 7,000 into 100, this one. 32.57. 84,500 divided by 3,7,000 into 100, 27.52. Then 1 lakh divided by 3,7,000 into 100, 32.57. Like this, you have to calculate the percentage. Or the calculative part 
is not difficult. It's very easy. Mechanically, we can do the calculation. But the difficult point is regarding the interpretation. In this problem, it is asking you to make the common size balance sheet and also interpret the statement. Now, how to make the interpretation? That depends on your logic. So we have to express, uh, we have to give the interpretation from liquidity point of view, from profitability point of view, and from long term solvency point of view. So first of all, liquidity interpretation. Liquidity can be ascertained by comparing current assets and current liabilities. The current liabilities will be paid from current assets. So normally current assets should be more than current liability. Then only we can say the liquidity position is good. Now here you can see current liability, trade payable. Last year trade payable was 10.92% and current year it has become 7.33%. That means the current liability proportion has decreased. Now come to current assets. The current assets consist of cash and cash equivalent. Last year it is 27.6%. Now current year it is 28.4%. Now what do you observe here? The current asset proportion has increased from 27.6 to 28.4. Current assets proportion have increased. Whereas current liability proportion have decreased. So current liability decreased, current assets increased. That means the liquidity position has improved in the year 2017. So first interpretation, there is a decrease in the proportion of current liability and increase in the proportion of current asset. So the liquidity position has improved in 2017. First interpretation. Like this interpretation we have to give whenever we make a common size statement. So the only thing is you have to remember the logic, how we are making the relationship. So current assets and current liability will be compared to give the opinion about liquidity. One more. Now secondly, there is not much change in fixed assets and long term funds. Normally fixed assets, if it is increased, it should be financed from long term funds. The long term funds consist of shareholders fund and non-current liability. These two are called long term funds. If fixed assets are increasing, then long term should also increase. Long term funds should also increase. Here, the fixed assets, 72.4%, 71.6%. That means almost the same. We can conclude there is not much change. There is not much change in fixed assets. The business has not purchased any fixed assets during 2017. Now compare, see the uh, share of long term funds. Share capital 33.33, 32.57. Reserves 22.42, 27.52. And uh, debentures 33.33, 32.57. Not much change in long term funds and in the fixed assets. So one interpretation we can give. There is not much change in long term funds and fixed assets. Third one, the reserves and surplus. Every year the profit earned will be kept in reserves and surplus. So if reserves and surplus increases, it means the profitability has increased. If the reserves and surplus decreases, it means the business has decreased its profitability. The profitability has become down. So here 22.42% was the proportion of reserves. Now it has become 27.52. That means reserves have increased. It indicates that profitability have increased. The reserves and surplus have slightly increased indicating profitability has increased in 2017. That's all. Finally, the overall financial position is satisfactory and remains same in 2017. Not much difference in the financial position in 16 and 17. Because no fixed assets, no long term funds increased. The profitability have slightly increased. The liquidity position has slightly improved. That's it. So this is the end of fourth problem. Now, problem number five. The following balance sheet pertain to accounts, accounting records of Pankaj Limited as on 31st March 2014 and 2015. So last year 14, current year 15. 
the balance sheet is given share capital capital reserve general reserve the sinking fund debentures creditors other current li other liabilities asset side debtors cash stock investment building land furniture so assets and liabilities are given in horizontal balance sheet but we have to make a vertical balance sheet you are required to arrange the above balance sheet in a form suitable for analysis and interpret the same it is asking you to arrange the balance sheet in a suitable form for analysis the balance sheet which is given in the problem is a horizontal type left hand side liabilities right hand side assets but that method is not suitable for analysis for analysis we have to convert it into vertical format specifically asking to convert it into a suitable form and then analyze so here pankaj limited common size balance sheet as on 31st march 14 15 as usual 2014 2015 amount percentage amount percentage this format is suitable for analysis so equity and liabilities shareholders fund to so under shareholders fund share capital capital reserve general reserve sinking fund these four items will come under shareholders fund non current liability only one item debentures then current liability two items are the creditors and other current liabilities this is the format of liabilities total this is the total of liabilities now asset side first we take non current assets fixed assets to so under fixed assets building land furniture three and then current assets are debtors cash stock investment in the problem it is not given whether investment is long term investment or short term investment we have assumed that investments are short term investments that's why i have taken it in the current assets so this is the format in which balance sheet should be prepared for making analysis now all the amounts of last year 2014 whatever is given in the problem i have written and 2015 current year all the amounts which are given in the problem i have written here that's it the only thing is you must know how to calculate the percentages it's a balance sheet problem so the base is the total assets and total liabilities what is the total assets 2 3 4 5 last year assets also 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 assets 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 5 should be kept in denominator and the numerator you take 1000 so 1000 by 2 3 4 5 into 100 42.64 90 divided by 2 3 4 5 into 100 3.84 like this we have calculated for all assets and liabilities similarly for current year 2015 the total of liabilities are 2755 assets also 2755 denominator you should take 2755 numerator take the individual values 1200 divided by 2755 into 100 43.56 185 divided by 2755 into 100 6.72 like that calculate all the percentages and after calculating percentages verify whether your calculations are correct or not if you take the total of all these percentage you should get 100 the total of all these percentages if you calculate you must get 100 cross verify if you have committed any mistake then that will be caught while totaling here or this is the calculative part of common size statement now interpretation that is more important only by watching the video with full concentration and watching again and again two three times you can be able to get the command of how to make the interpretation now first one there is a fall in both current assets and current liability see here current liability last year 8.53 now here it has become 5.44 here 0.64 0.73 so what do you observe there is a slight slight decrease in current liability whereas current assets current assets 19.19 14 so 14.16 8.53 0.54 13.65 9.07 what do you observe both current assets and current liabilities have decreased during 2015 current year but uh, decrease in current asset is less than that of current liability so the short term liquidity position has improved the decrease rate there is more decrease in current liability and less decrease in current assets that gives the short term liquidity position has improved 
first one. Second one, there has been a heavy increase in fixed assets. If you compare the fixed assets, building, land, furniture, 34.12 was the last year. Now it has become 50.82. 8.44 has become 12.52. 3.28 has become 3.81. So if you compare the absolute figure also 800, 1400, 198, 345, 77, 105. That means the fixed assets has increased during the current year. And these fixed assets should be financed from long term funds. The long term funds consist of shareholders fund and non-current liability. The, com uh, the combination of shareholders fund and non-current liability are called long term funds. If fixed assets are increasing, then long-term funds should also increase. That means fixed assets must be financed from long-term funds. So in our problem, the fixed assets are increasing along with that long-term fund is also increasing. Debentures are 19.19, now it has become 23.59. Similarly, share capital are 1,200, 42.64, 43.56. That means the long term funds are increasing. It's a prudent policy that fixed assets have been financed from long term funds. This one is over. The long term solvency position largely remains same. The long term solvency of the business is almost same. The profitability position of the company is not satisfactory. General reserve has come down. Just now I told you the profit will be kept in general reserve. If general reserve increases, it means there is a profitability. The profitability has increased. If general reserve decreases, we can say there is a loss or profitability has come down. Here, general reserve last year 21.32, current year 16.33. That means the profitability has come down. The profitability position of the company is not satisfactory, general reserve has come down. The overall position can be considered satisfactory as the company is expanding its fixed assets. So from this analysis, we can say the overall financial position of the company is satisfactory because the fixed assets are increasing from long term funds. Liquidity position is also good. Only the profitability is coming down. However, careful monitoring of profitability is required in future. The only matter of concern is the profitability. The business has to find out, the management has to find out why the profitability is decreasing closely monitor and find out the reason of decrease in profitability. Remaining part, remaining financial position is satisfactory. So this is the end of problem number five. So totally five main problems and four short problems have completed on financial statement analysis. Inshallah, the next problem will start in the next video.